For our contribution to the Vision 2030 competition, we wanted to make sure that our app can be used across the entire world. Our focus is on empowering local organizations and institutions to share information that is relevant to a wider audience based on local diversity. There are many contributors within the field of women's rights and health already. This would be a way of connecting them to their audience. So this is the start screen. No login is required for the user and content is shown based on region. Language is chosen by system preferences. As a user, you'll get a list of my rights, my health and my services. If we select my rights, the user will get a list of categories. Once a category is selected, you can choose to see information or stories. Information is typically facts that you can see online or in pamphlets from contributors, while stories are meant to engage the user on a personal level. Once a story is selected, the user can choose to share it with their friends via Facebook or SMS, they can call to speak with the NGO who's published the story, or they can see more information about the NGO. You can also see a list of all the contributors by going back to My Services on the first page, then selecting a category, and in the list of contributors, you can tap each logo or text to see more information. As an organization or an institution that wishes to contribute, you'll be pressing the Contribute button on the Start page. Then you'll be asked to either sign in if you have an approved account, or register and wait for approval. Once logged in, you'll have an overview of the content that you've added and the possibility to add new content. On the Add Content page, you'll be able to fill in title, category and text. You'll also be able to upload video, photo or audio. This can also be done directly from your mobile phone to allow NGOs or institutions with little resources to contribute. Once you press save, your content is published.